Hello everybody, this is Bradley from Formula Talks, and today, well, yesterday, we got an announcement from the App Store on Twitter saying that we'll finally be receiving an F1 manager game. And now this is amazing news because I've been a strong advocate for this kind of, well, basically management mode in the Codemasters game for three or four years now. And um, yeah, we're finally going to be getting a version of it and it's going to be on mobile. Uh, it's, it's on the App Store. We're not currently aware of it being on Android devices, which is potentially going to be a bit of an issue further down the line. But at the moment, it's only announced on the App Store. And I think this game has great potential. I'm going to quickly show you guys the tweet now. So the tweet reads, Big news! New F1 Manager game is coming. And now, obviously, this isn't a very... There's literally no details about this game at all yet. Um, I have a rough idea of who's going to be making it, which I'll get to in a minute. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've been given a little picture here. It's actually a little video. It's a little gif in the actual um, on the actual tweet. But the one thing I'm incredibly concerned about is those aren't official cars. So, yeah, just... that It might just be a bit of promo art for now. But that is the incredibly concerning thing that I'm really hoping isn't the case where we're not given official cars. And I know licensing is going to be a massive issue with this game. But earlier this month, F1 actually put out a press release saying that, well, announcing their partnership with Hutch Games, who they are experienced in making cartoony style, the same art style we're seeing here, driving games. So I don't, th this is definitely the right company for if they're going for a kind of cartoony manager mode. It'll be more of a, yeah, car, well, you get what I mean, more cartoony rather than official in-depth it, it seems like it's gonna be one more of those management games but it doesn't mean it won't be good we, we this this game has a lot of potential and you never know at the end of the day hutch could completely pull something out the bag and make an absolutely brilliant game here no like there's so much potential they could use some of the things that i do want to see though is the ability to ride on board with your drivers and follow the race watch them overtake and like do obviously mid race um management, which will be a thing. If if there isn't an option to do mid race management, that is a broken F one game. But I want to be able to watch it because on the, I as I said before, I was an advocate to get this on the Xbox, PS four and PC games by Codemasters, but they don't have the right licensing so they can't really do it. I feel like this game will probably more follow the um motorsport manager style with the you know, the dots on the screen racing which personally i think really takes you away from the game when i'm playing it, it does kind of put me off because i like to watch the racing and you see well i don't know whether that was a good overtake or not because it's just a dot passing through another dot and you can't really rate your driver you've only got the pace to go off of so that's so that's like frustrates me about the motorsport manager games which are brilliant as a standalone f1 well separate from f1 it's they're brilliant games and i'm completely with them on that they make very good games but for an official they're not official this is an official f1 game this needs to go all out to represent the brand and properly portray f1 in the best light by creating a very good in-depth manager game to prove that f1 can reach the global market very effectively with a management app that a lot of people who maybe don't even necessarily watch f1 might play this game and like it and go oh, all right then well we'll start watching f1 so the game has great potential to bring in new viewers and also to satisfy all of the f1 gamers because for however long now years people have wanted it with the codemasters games and turns out hutch are eventually going to be giving it to us i'm expecting a maybe late 2019, mid-2019 release date, because they, like, publicly, they haven't even officially announced who is making this game. I'm assuming it's Hutch going off of the previous press release from earlier this month that really does check out, and I don't think anyone's really pieced that together yet. But, I, yeah, I'll, I'll finish with, again, this is just a short video, a little bit of news. Uh, this game has great potential if it's done right, and I will probably if the game's any good be doing some videos on it and also if there's any new 
news, like anything's officially confirmed, I'll be covering that as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. And if you actually want to keep up to date with this game, because I will be uploading videos on it whenever there's any new news, uh, that would be much appreciated. So guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye. I watch our podcast. We upload a podcast. It's on the channel. Just watch it. It's pretty good.